seeds, but that's where you want to end up. Yeah. You normally need to make sure the nutrient is there, but it's not just a matter of chucking it on. If you overgraze it, what happens is you actually kill plants because you're taking the green out. So what we're trying to do, obviously, in the end goal is grow grass, mm -hmm. put kilo in the we're gonna, grass. We're going to grow soil. Yeah, soil. Yeah. Work with the soil. Forget the grass. Because yeah. if you get the yeah. soil right, the grass takes care of itself, yeah. which takes care of the animal. Yeah. So the healthier animal, again, less vet bills, yeah. less, less side effects from disease and stuff like that. You know, healthy animal, more kilos, quicker, so, quicker kilos, yeah. and it's more money to make. Obviously, putting money into it first is going to be... Yeah. Put money into the right thing. Yeah, 100%. 100%. It's not about spending money. Yeah. Sometimes it's about not spending money. Yeah. Ha ha. Winter or winter. <laughs> it's almost been a few weeks, eh? But five, six, eh? Almost. <laughs> Mad on the quad, eh? This is it. Life's not infinite. It's the only chance we get, so why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? Will it click? Looking for the next one to fix. Is this the new kind of sick? So I got Ralph turning up this week with his mower and a baler. I've just spoken to him then. He'll drop, we'll drop this. We'll drop this. Drop that. It's working out with balance. Yeah, so pretty much, um, Got Cribby here, he's from Elders, so uh, you know, what he does is a couple weeks back he just um, took some samples out of the ground, um, sort of optimised and see what you know what we needed for our nutrition, especially down here in the bottom paddocks. Um, on the river it's pretty good, we worked out that we only need maintenance down here and up the top three paddocks we um, And yeah, like, like I said, um, you know, <clears throat> got the samples, um, took it back, got it tested, and to see where. And um, so, probably come out. Look, that ride, mate. Um, yeah, and just to see where we're at, so we're not spending money, and I'm just not putting hand in my pocket to put, you know, fertilizer on that's not going to work for the ground. So, um, what we've done is obviously going to go work out a plan and uh, see what's going to be the best for the farm, and that way we're going to uh, you manage it, and you know how we put kilos on the cows. I mean, you can look at a paddock and go, oh, there's heaps of feed. It doesn't matter what the market does. If you've got quality calves, you've got money. And you've got a good name for yourself yeah. because you always breed good quality. Pick what makes sense to you from a business point of view. It's a business. It's like not it. It's not for fun. No. Make it enjoyable, but don't, yeah. Listen to everyone. Take a little bit. But, but have that model of your own that yeah. you've gone, okay, I like what this guy's saying or this person's saying. Let's sit with this person, come up with a plan, plan a strategy. But we still take in everything that everyone says because no one knows everything. Yeah. So we grow soil, get the nutrients in, uh, nitrogen, everything else is going to make that plant grow. Um, yeah, it's only going to benefit our cows in the way we produce. And obviously we've got cows calving in the next uh, you know, two, two weeks, three weeks. So we want to make sure we're optimising that time and managing it. So them cows can put milk and uh, you know, nutrients in that baby, so we can uh, you know, get that going, get it growth, and that's the whole, whole opportunity here with the big fella coming out and teaching us a little bit. And obviously we're not fucking you know, going to learn over. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day either. So yeah, it's all about um, seeing what our paddocks need, see how we're going to manage it for the next you know 18 months. What? Never without the tag. Oh yeah, of course you can, man, yeah, of course you can. To the point where they feed it all, yeah. and if it's sitting level with that, yeah. that's when you start, you move them. Oh, well, there's an easier way. These are pods, eh? Hello, how are you? I'm living on the moon. I'm calling from a telephone inside of a swoon. Hey, yeah, that's the way that's it up. You know the person who left many years ago. And now I sit here at the bar feeling so alone.
done, bro. Mulch. Uh, get prepped for. Um, we got a baler coming in. Get that silage rest of the poly feed base done, and then I'll just mulch that down. So then when they drill it, it's not too thick. Um, yeah, a lot easier for them to get in there. Yeah, I'm busted. I need another coffee. There you go. Hey, Missy. So this is the foreman of um, Inmara. She, yeah, pretty much get told what to do. Boss lady, eh? Hey, boss. Yeah. To, to me, Win Winmara winters yeah, is yeah. going going hunting. That'll come from the mountains, travel down, and um, been close because at the moment we've got the mullet run, and so the seasons have changed and. Um, so they watch the hairy grubs walk in a straight line, they know uh, that the mullet are running. So they would have made their way to the coast to the family, to the rest of the family, for, and um, they would have been down there fishing on the coast. I think for, for me, with footy, it's just about um, you know, come in, uh, get my training done. You know, the boys, we, we sort of tear in early, and then you know, we get the opportunity. JD is pretty good, so we uh, get the opportunity to get home and be around our kids, you know, he's a, he's a very family oriented man. And you know, the good, good thing about having been a grand, grandfather or bapu is that I can get a, give them back to my, my sons. <laughs> but I love having the grandkids there because it's noisy and it's very quiet when we, me and mum are home by herself. But when the grandkids come, mate, it's, it's, oh, yeah, it's all, uh, all, everybody, you know, all hands on deck. This is where they used to grow the best potatoes up here. I guess for me and the farm and having that balance of the, the lifestyles, I guess, um, you know, like Dad touched on with the mullet and all that, being and taking what you need. And I think it's just sort of, you know, you can put, sort of relate that to farm and being sustainable and, um, you know, and rotating when we need to, uh, not overfeeding. Um, and also, you know, with our silage bales, we're about to cut, I guess, you know, a couple, few paddocks, a few acres, um, you know, down to sort of roll for next year, but we've always, Obviously got that sustainability from last year, so we've got bales to go and feed off that um, you know that cows need to eat. So just just beating the frost, making sure we're getting stuff in before you know, you know nothing grows. Because like Dad said, it that you know growth slows down in the in the cold, and that's how we should be looking soon. A couple of years time, lunch. One hundred percent. Excuse me. Do you know where the footy ground is? Footy, footy over. Yep. Okay. That's, thank you. That's it. Thank yeah, you. thank you very See much. Up. That's it, the old showground. Yeah. That way. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Holy shit, yeah. We are say, finally got to find the flattest ground. The, the old showground. Holy man. Oh, you're really scared. Oh, yeah. Watch Big Benny. Look here where the guy goes. Fuck can I say reverse so we can see on the back? Yeah, you can see on the back. Yeah. <laughs> Big Benny on the bench there. Get him there. <laughs> Ooh's. Yeah, you're going to be grateful for what we train on, eh? Heffron Park, the showground cattle paddock. Look at it. What's the score? They cut the grooves out just to paint the lines. 56 million. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, the visitors. Oh, the record long flat was pretty good. 56 nil, big Benny getting beat. <laughs> no wonder he's sitting on the bench. Grassroots. Grassroots footy, boys and girls, see? At its best. We drove 50 minutes out here just to come and see my cousin sit on the bench. <laughs> just want to see him run. They get the ball back. Yeah, that's what yeah having girls does for you. Very tight. Wait, it's going away. Look, I know we're I know we're sixty nil down. But what you gotta do is get out there, just do your bloody best. Play for you, mate. Go out there, play for you, mate. Bring him along. Get on the beers later. All in. Get on, Ben. Ben, get on there, have run. Ben.
Bradford. 62 nil, guys. Big Benny's about to run on. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah come and watch Cousin Benny. He looked number 20. And then Boy, Carton Benny scored. Try. 40 20. <laughs> Big number 20. Get in there, Ben. Yeah, so they've just scored on the upright. Uh, 62. Just made it. 66. Kick to come. Unbelievable. What's him? <laughs> oh, that'll do me. <laughs> oh, it's only <laughs> can. <laughs> Go on, Ben! Face up, Ben! Face up, Ben! Hey, look at it. Don't go fighting, don't fight. That jumper. Tell you what, I've got no shirt underneath here. I'll tell you, school had wind going straight. Oh, yeah, we're going back to Tar Road on the way back. Yeah, quicker. Down to War Rope. It's quicker down the highway then. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. This is a bit of thin air, but it, you know, gets you cosy. <laughs> Let them score one, boys, please. Quick. Oh, run a straight, bud. Oh, nearly buckled him. The big Benny, he's not worried about footy. He's coming over to see me. The Windmara boys. Come, we go up the mountains. Oh, don't. No. We'll no. Follow back, follow his back. Come, war up, way, eh? <laughs> oh, my God. This is Wayne. Final, final score, combo and Tigers. Got flogged. 80 nil. <laughs> Pub comp. Cattle paddock. Oh, the joys. Thank you. Oh, I love footy. Love footy. Boys have a crack. Would have had a crack last night, then come and had a crack today, so at least they, you know, A for effort. Where's the boys? Sure. There you go, mate, you're right. What are you doing up here? Nah, come for a look. Hey, where are they going, right? So there you go. Good, bro. Thousand? I got a thousand points on the weekend, too. Yeah, you got a thousand. Hello, how are you? There you go, bro. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. How you going, bro? Good, how are you? Good. Can I get a photo? Yeah, bro. 100%. Cheers, bro. All good, bro. Thanks for coming out. Head up, head up, nah, head up boys. It's only game footy, eh? Oh, legend, legend. There you go. My oh, man. Pretty good. Thank you. Nah, lovely to meet ya. See ya. Later, boys. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was saying, I would buy a cart and he's got a try. He went this way. <laughs> See ya. I pulled on people's legs because uh, that. The, you pulled your leg. Hello. Do the fireworks. Hi there. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh,